Welcome to the Clayton Center. This month we are honored to have three fabulous artists to adorn our walls. You'll get to see a little photography, a little fabric work, and also a little acrylic. Bronwyn Fullerton is our fiber mixed media artist. She has some wonderful pieces. They range from clothing to jewelry to anything you can think of that her artistic mind could create. We have Heather Holmes Hines. She has provided us with some wonderful pieces of photography. They range from portraitures to landscapes, colors, black and whites, all of them are very vibrant. Kelly Brander, her artwork is acrylic with watercolor and pencil. Very fabulous, fabulous looking pieces of artwork. My name is Kelly Brander and I have on display um, all of my pieces. They are mostly acrylic and watercolor and colored pencil and my theme is nature and animals. I use pictures that mostly I take, places that I visited because I'm a recent resident of North Carolina. Well, since a young age, I've always been interested in animals. I had a lot of pets growing up, and I'm on track to becoming a veterinarian. So through that, through that passion, I create this passion, my art. I can't believe like I get this opportunity at 18. You know, I didn't think walking in here people would be surprised that I'm so young, and I didn't even realize that this how much of an honor this actually is and just to see everybody enjoying it and seeing nature the way that I see it or experiencing this passion of mine in such, such a large scale is incredible. I started doing these photographs uh, a few years ago when my husband and I bought a little trailer down at the beach in Paradise Bay Mobile Home Hideaway. I use, uh, actually I use my iPhone to take the pictures, I don't use the camera. But I do use layers and filters and Photoshop and apps and everything, so really each one is an original because if I had to reproduce it, I couldn't. I hope that I've captured some, some moments and some vibe and some wonderful memories that, that you'll enjoy. I was an art teacher right out of college for about seven years and then life circumstances kind of intervened and I had to put that on the back burner for a number of years. Uh, I retired not long ago and I thought, you know, I've got to get back to my roots. And a friend of mine gave me a little plaque that said it's never too late to be what you always wanted to be. And I've had that little plaque upstairs in my little studio and that's what has been my, my mantra and has given me the, the uh, vision and the uh, encouragement to, to do something with, with my talent. So I'm sitting over there at the desk and I can see people come by and they start looking at my work and they, they point to this and talking about it. And it's like, you know, that makes me feel good. It really does. And it also makes me realize that, you know, art does touch us in so many different ways. It would be a pretty bland world without it. My name is Bronwyn Fullington, and I'm a fiber artist. I've been messing around with mostly wool and mostly knitting for most of my life. It's very labor intensive. Some of the pieces are made of yarn that I've spun myself. So I start with a bunch of fiber, I spin the yarn, and then I uh, knit it or felt it and attach it to pieces of driftwood or, and that's how I, my process is. I, I use a lot of different processes to create my pieces. I'm really thrilled, it's, it's very exciting to me. Most of my working, you know, my art life has been making things for people to wear. Um, and so this is different, just making things for people to look at and appreciate. I'm really glad to have the opportunity to have so many people see them. Come down here to the Clayton Center as we continue to bring art to Clayton. 
be sure to visit us at claytonvisualarts.org.